Hello everyone and welcome back to JT on the Go. So today we are at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. This is where the behind the scenes work is done to raise animals and release them to their natural habitats all over the world. So let's get into enjoying this beautiful park, shall we? The San Diego Safari Park is a world-renowned attraction located in Escondido, California. It spans over 1,800 acres and like the San Diego Zoo, it is home to endangered animals. This time, there are nearly 3,000. It takes 37 minutes to drive from downtown San Diego to the San Diego Safari Park. Like the San Diego Zoo, it is also known for its state-of-the-art facilities and themed landscapes. The San Diego Safari Park was founded in 1972 as a place for breeding and research. This allowed animals to thrive in their natural habitats. The park averages one birth a day for the species that are endangered. Over the years, the San Diego Safari Park went from a research center into a tourist attraction that is also enjoyed by domestic and international visitors. Before you visit, download the San Diego Safari Park Travel Guide app. Like the San Diego Zoo Travel Guide app, this app will help you get the most of your visit to the Safari Park. You can plan your day by adding must-see animals, dining, and other shopping experiences. The San Diego Zoo app is in green, while the Safari Park app is in orange. The Safari Park is also very big, so come up with a plan. Like the San Diego Zoo, I'll go over the things that attract tourists here. The Safari Park does not have an aerial tram. Instead, it has the Balloon Safari that is a balloon that can take you up to see the view of the park. The balloon is not included with your entry fee. The first thing we're going to do is the tram tour. It is a good walk from the entrance. The parking fee at the San Diego Safari Park is $20 per car. Here's the entrance. I recommend doing the Africa tram first like we did because it's the furthest point out and gets long lines in the middle of the day. The wildlife sanctuary that it will go through will look like Africa. We may see some animals that we didn't see at the San Diego Zoo. The Africa tram is part of the African Outpost exhibit. The 25 minute tour is included with your admission. The tram tour also goes to several parts of the safari park that are not accessible by foot. It crosses through the African plain section. We found gazelles sitting in the field, just as they do in the wild. You can also find zebras, cattle, cape buffalo, and giraffes, to name a few. They even had dogs here. The dogs serve as calming companions to the cheetahs. If you're lucky, you may find animals running, like these two gazelles. The tour guides will share the park's history, the conservation work accomplished by the San Diego Zoo Alliance, and information about the animals. Weather wasn't cooperating as it did for the San Diego Zoo video. The San Diego Safari Park is run by the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance. It is a nonprofit organization headquartered in San Diego that operates not only the San Diego Safari Park but also the San Diego Zoo. See in the canyon to look more like a bonsai, they're artists. And as the sun peeks out, quite a beautiful scenario. That was the end of our tram tour. Now we can take our time and walk our way back, but we are not done. There are a few other things to see. Here is part of the lion camp, home to a pride of lions. Lions are nocturnal, which means they are more active at night. This is the balloon safari that I explained earlier. We are now in the gorilla habitat. They are highly intelligent and playful. They are also close relatives to humans. Fun fact, humans and gorillas share 98% of DNA. If you are lucky, you may see their social behaviors. For the male gorilla, Hampton, we saw him catching food that was dropped to him. Part of the African outpost has a trail called the African Loop. The best part is the James Richard Island. It is home to many species of birds, like flamingos. Flamingos become pink during their mating season. 
Another must-see stop is the Tiger Trail. It does have an entrance full of bamboo. On the left is a play area for the young ones to take a break. It shows Sumatran tigers in their natural habitat. We were lucky to see two cubs playing. Watch, these guys are learning their attack behaviors by playing. Sadly, these tigers are the last remaining subspecies of tigers in Indonesia. There are fewer than 400 of them left in the wild. Next door is a waterfall that is reminiscent of the one at the San Diego Zoo. The next place we're going is the Condor Ridge. This section is the highest point and overlooks most of the park. It's quite a walk. The way up and down can give you a great view of the San Pasquale Valley. Once you get to the top, you'll see these once nearly extinct animals. This includes the American bald eagle, our national bird and symbol of freedom. The contamination of their food source by the used pesticide DDT nearly drove the bald eagle to extinction. Although the bald eagle was removed from the endangered species list, the bird continues to be protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty and the Bald and Gold Protection Acts. Next door are bighorn sheep that live in the United States, Mexico, and Canada. Walkabout Australia is next. I recommend stopping by. It is the only place in North America where you can see elusive creatures. It was hard to catch them on camera. Platypuses like the one we see happen to be one of the few mammals that lay eggs. Most mammals don't. Mammals also feed milk to their young like humans. It's raining. You can also find kangaroos and other animals that you would find in Australia in this section. At this point, we came full circle. Here is another aviary that appears to be a bit larger than the ones in the San Diego Zoo. Another enclosure. This is the base camp. The conservation carousel is an attraction featuring animals. One ride costs six dollars. You can ride it as many times as you want. Here is a parrot that can talk. This is the Wings of the World Aviary. It leads to the Animal Ambassador stage where you can watch trainer presentations. Every visit supports the preservations of endangered species. When making a purchase, your donation goes to help support endangered animals and securing a great and glorious future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and follow my Instagram account for more content in the future. This is JTiana Go signing off.